Boeing has delivered its first Lot 2 F-15 EX Eagle II, designated EX-09, to the US Air Force, marking a milestone in the modernization of its aging F-15C D fleet. This next-generation fighter offers cutting-edge enhancements, including advanced radar, electronic warfare systems, and a 28% larger payload. Its open mission systems architecture ensures adaptability for future combat needs, such as operating with drones and deploying hypersonic weapons. Boeing, amid industry challenges, views the F-15EX as key to sustaining its defense relevance, with domestic orders and international interest from Israel, Indonesia, and Saudi Arabia. The F-15EX promises rapid deployment, affordability, and longevity. Another F-15EX Eagle II has been hatched the first from Lot 2 for the United States Air Force. According to Boeing, the aircraft, designated EX-09, was moved from the Boeing final assembly line to the testing facility at the St. Louis International Airport, where it will undergo testing and verification. Boeing had previously delivered eight Eagle IIS from the first production lot, and according to Defense Industry, six of those fighters are now at Eglin Air Force Base, AFB, Florida, undergoing developmental testing, experimentation, and training operations, while the two others, EX-07 and EX-08, are now in service with the Oregon Air National Guard's 142 wing. It isn't an overstatement to suggest that 2024 hasn't been a good year for Boeing. The company has been under Federal Aviation Authority FAA scrutiny after an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX had a door plug blowout shortly after takeoff in January, while it faced production delays and a labor strike. In July, the aerospace firm announced it would plead guilty to fraud related to the approval of its 737 MAX. Two of those aircraft crashed, killing a total of 346 people in accidents in Indonesia and Ethiopia in 2018 and 2019. However, by pleading guilty to a felony, Boeing would normally be excluded from bidding on military contracts. The Department of Defense DoD, has the leeway to grant exceptions, while Boeing will continue to fulfill its existing contracts including those for the F-15EX. The defense contractor is currently producing 48 additional Eagle IIS that will be manufactured in three subsequent lots, while Israel has placed orders for 25 Eagle IIS via the U.S. State Department's Foreign Military Sales FMS, program. The aircraft will replace the U.S. Air Force's aging F-15C D models. Production of the F-15EX is running concurrently with the F-15QA Ababil, which is being produced for Qatar and other international customers. Boeing is eager to close a deal with the Pentagon to bring the total order of the F-15EX Eagle II to 108 aircraft and perhaps even more. At the same time, it is courting foreign buyers including Indonesia, Poland, and Saudi Arabia. The company needs to stay relevant in the military aviation sector, as the US Navy remains the only customer for the F-A-18E F Super Hornet. And while the company secured a $1.3 billion contract for 17 new carrier-based fighters earlier this year, production is now on track to cease in 2027. The F-15EX is a two-seat all-weather, multirole fighter that offers enhanced capabilities that are unique to the US Air Force. It includes fly-by-wire flight controls, new weapon stations, a new electronic warfare suite, advanced radar and computer, conformal fuel tanks, and a strengthened airframe. The improved F-15EX also features a deep magazine that will allow it to carry a load of advanced weapons yet with a 28% larger payload than the F-15E. At the same time, the Eagle II has been touted to require only minimal transitional training and little additional manpower from the older versions of the F-15. According to the Air Force, it has also required little to no infrastructure changes. The Air Force has estimated that the F-15EX fighter shares about 70% of parts with the current F-15CS and F-15S that it will be replacing. In addition, the original production lines in St. Louis still in place, while the aircraft's training facilities, maintenance depots, and other infrastructure can be also be readily shifted to F-15EX support. Though lacking stealth and other capabilities of the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, the F-15EX could still be well-suited to serve as airborne controllers for future collaborative combat aircraft and other drones. As a launch platform for advanced weapons including hypersonic weapons and other large ordnance, and as a new platform for advanced electronic warfare platforms, Boeing has claimed that fighters will be easier to build and quicker to put into service. While it will also result in a platform that can be maintained more cost-effectively when compared to an equal number of F-35s. 
the aerospace giant further noted that the F-15EX can enable rapid technology insertion that will ensure the platform's relevance for decades to come. This will be accomplished via an open mission systems architecture, which can deliver advanced battle management systems ABMS, capabilities, allowing the F-15EX to operate independently while isolated but also to reconnect to the global cloud.